Good morning, class. Happy Monday. Um, I hope you guys had a good weekend with your families. Um, I'm looking forward to this week. We are starting a new unit in Benchmark. Um, so last unit, we were learning about farmer's markets and food and being consumers, um, the types of things we put into our body. And this unit, we're going to be learning about the weather and the climate. Um, I'm really excited for this unit because I feel like it's very interesting and I feel like you guys are really going to enjoy it. So let's first look at this first page of our um, reader. So you guys should be on page 78. Okay, and this is unit eight, weather and climate. So our essential question. So this is the big question we're gonna be answering through all the different passages that we read about weather and climate. So how can we predict the unknown? So remember, the word predict means how can we know what's going to happen, um, the unknown, so something that we don't know. So weather is a perfect example of the unknown because there are different people that predict weather, um, but even though they use science and research to predict the weather, sometimes it doesn't happen the way that they say. Um, sometimes they say it's going to rain um, and it doesn't rain. And sometimes they say it's going to be sunny and it ends up being cold and cloudy. And so weather is really an unknown factor. Um, even for people who study it every day and talk about it and research it, um, it's something that's really, really hard to predict. So it's really hard to know what's going to, what the weather is going to be like. All right, guys. So first we're going to go over our pictures. So let's go ahead and look at this first picture. Okay. And let's talk about the th different things that you guys see in the picture. So, and then predict what kind of weather it is. So I see um, umbrellas. I see people in boots and jackets and pants. Um, it looks like people are walking through a city. Um, so what possibly could be happening in this picture? What do you guys think? That's right. It's a thunderstorm or some type of raining. You know, either it's raining hard or it's raining a little bit. Um, but there's rain, possibly light, lightning and thunder as well. And that's why everyone is under their umbrella to keep themselves dry. Now let's look at this picture up here. And let's talk about the different things we see in it, okay? Um, so the first thing I notice is this big, white, twirling, kind of looks like clouds, like spinning around, okay? And then over here, I see some green, I see some blue, more green. Um, and looking at this, it's definitely a picture of Earth, some type, some part of Earth, um, some type of continent or whatever. And this is a satellite view of a hurricane. So this is a hurricane building over the ocean and it's going to go onto land. So a hurricane has lots and lots of wind, lots and lots of hard rain. Um, we don't get hurricanes here um, where we live in Southern California or Marietta. Um, this is weather that usually happens in more tropical places um, like Florida and the Bahamas and different places like that. Um, they experience this extreme weather, which is called hurricanes. And actually even in um, Southeast um, United States, there are a lot of states that uh, have it, hurricanes. All right, guys, I'm going to move my picture up a little bit. And then let's look at this last picture. Okay, so it looks like there's a bridge and a bench and it looks like the ocean has come over and kind of gone all over the bridge and all over the bench. And so this could be from another type of extreme weather, either a hurricane or a thunderstorm, um, but where there's flash flooding. So there's lots and lots and lots of water and there's land, uh, I'm sorry, there's water near the land. So usually people sit on a bench or walk on the bridge but there is flooding, which means there's lots and lots of water going to where people usually are walking or sitting or gathering. Um, so this is flash flooding. So again, remember this first picture we talked about, thunderstorm. This one's a satellite view of a hurricane. And this last one is flash flooding. All right, my friends, we're going to move on to the next page and we're going to review our new vocabulary words. So this first passage that we're going to be reading, we're going to be learning about clouds. We're going to be reading um, a poem. And in a poem, instead of there being paragraphs, it's divided into stanzas. And each stanza 
um, has a different theme or teaches you something new. And so we're going to learn all of these vocabulary words in order to read a poem about clouds. All right, my friends, let's go ahead and look at this first vocabulary word. Before we talk about what the word is, let's go ahead and take a look at the pictures. So I want you to take a minute, talk about what you see in these two pictures. Remember, think about color, think about texture, think about movement, those different um, structure words that we talked about in class. All right, and let's talk about them. So here, I see white clouds in a blue sky, and they're really, really, really fluffy. Um, it kind of looks like these clouds could be moving or swaying in the sky. Um, and something I like to do with my kids is go outside and look at clouds and talk about the type of shapes that the clouds look like. So do they look like animals? Do they look like different things that um, remind us of anything? And usually these type of fluffy clouds are the most fun to do that with. This next picture, again, I see a blue, blue, blue sky, and I see these white fluffy clouds um, that look to be kind of swaying up in the sky. Okay, so now let's go back to our vocabulary word, and I want you guys to say it after I say it. Ready? Cumulus. Go ahead and say it. Cumulus. All right, let's count the syllables in the word cumulus. Are you ready? Ready? Cumulus. How many syllables, my friends? That's right, three. Cumulus has three syllables, and cumulus is a really, really fancy scientific word for a fluffy or puffy cloud. So these clouds are cumulus clouds, and all that means is that they're really puffy and fluffy, um, and those clouds that we usually see on a sunny day, but with a couple of clouds in the sky. So we're going to go ahead and read the sentence, okay? It says, this is a, remember what's our word? Cumulus cloud. Good. Next one, same sentence. I want you guys to try it. This is a cumulus cloud. Good. Now we're going to write our sentence. Okay, my friends, the sentence I'm going to write, um, you guys can either copy Miss Harmon's sentence or come up with your own sentence and then make sure to draw a picture of a cumulus cloud, which is just a really puffy, fluffy cloud. Okay? So Miss Harmon's sentence is going to be, I love to look at cumulus clouds. They are so fluffy. All right, my friends, go ahead and take a minute to write your sentence and then pause the video, write your sentence, and then go and come back for the rest of our vocab word, okay? All right, my friends, let's look at our second vocabulary word. All right, first, let's look at the pictures and let's talk about the different things that we see. Size, shape, um, number, possibly how many people are in the pictures. Um, and what could possibly be happening in them, okay? So this first picture, when I look at it, I see lots of kids in a circle, kind of giving a thumbs up. Um, it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five kids. Um, they all look happy, and they all look to be like they're enjoying each other. Let's look at the second picture. Now I see the beach in the background, so the waves could be moving. Um, and then I see a tree right here on the sand. And I see a whole group of people holding hands and standing around the tree. Um, and it looks like they are circling the tree or surrounding the tree. All right, let's see how many people are in this picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven people in this picture. So both pictures seem to have a group of people um, circling or surrounding either each other or an object. So let's go back to our vocabulary word and say it with me. In circle. Go ahead. In circle. Good. Let's count the syllables in the word in circle. Are you ready? In circle. How many syllables, my friends? That's right, three. Three syllables in the word in circle. And in circle just means to surround. So it means to surround yourself with friends, surround yourself physically, like in a circle, um, in a classroom or on the beach. When we used to have circle up time in Ms. Harmon's class, we used to sit in a circle right and have our talking piece and pass it around so our class used to encircle together to talk about books and talk about different things let's go ahead and read our sentence my friends encircle me we encircle the tree so they are surrounding the tree 
these friends are surrounding each other. Now let's take a minute and go ahead and write our sentence. So our sentence, my sentence is going to be either you can write the same sentence as me or you can write your own sentence and then draw a picture, okay? So I'm going to talk about my dogs. So remember again, Miss Harmon has three dogs, um, Cosmo, Hannah, and Jackson, our little puppy. So my sentence is going to be my dogs encircle me when I have a treat. So when I go to our closet and I grab a treat out of the treat box, all of my dogs are surrounding me because they all want the treat just as badly. Okay, my friends, go ahead and pause, write your sentence, draw your picture, and then come back to the video. Our third vocabulary word is right here. Let's go ahead and look at the pictures. Again, now I see, remember, texture, number, color, um, background, different things that you guys see in this picture. Make sure you're thinking about those words when you're looking at these pictures. So in this first picture, I see some more clouds. Um, I see some of those white clouds, but then I see some really, really, really dark clouds. Um, and I know that usually dark clouds are filled with rain or thunder or lightning um, and just kind of scattered around these white clouds. And then I look at this picture and it looks like there's a city down here, some type of buildings or houses. And then in the sky, it looks again like there's these dark clouds, possibly with a storm brewing, um, maybe a tornado. I, I'm not sure. That's what I kind of see in this picture. Let's go ahead and talk about what our vocabulary word is. So say it after I say it. So say nimbus. Say it again. Nimbus. Good. Go ahead and let's count the syllables of the word nimbus. 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 Okay, how many syllables? Let's write two. Two syllables, two sounds in the word nimbus. And a nimbus cloud is a rain cloud. So it's all of these dark clouds here that they're filled with rain. When we see them coming over the sky, we know that they're going to have the rain um, in them. Those are called nimbus clouds. So think about those dark gray clouds that are really gloomy and you know are full of rain. Those are called nimbus clouds. So remember, a cumulus cloud is a puffy, fluffy white cloud, and a nimbus cloud is a really dark and gray, full of rain cloud. And so our sentence for the word nimbus is going to be, nimbus clouds are dark and full of rain. Go ahead and write your sentence, pause the video, and draw your dark rain cloud. All right, my friends, for our next vocabulary word, let's look at the pictures, okay? In this picture, I see a large grassy area with a blue sky with some um, cumulus clouds. Again here, large grassy area with some trees, blue sky, and white clouds. All right, let's look at our vocab word. All right, say it with me. Prairie. How many sounds in the word prairie? Prairie. Two sounds in the word prairie. Okay, and a prairie is just a large open grass field. Um, so wherever you see lots and lots of grass and not a lot of buildings, not a lot of houses. So the prairie has grass and the prairie has trees. So Miss Harmon's sentence is going to be, the Prairie by Lisa J. Mills has cows. So if you remember that large grassland right next to um, our school, there are lots of cows roaming in that grass, kind of eating the grass. And so um, that is a sentence. Go ahead and take a minute to write it, draw your picture. Remember, lots and lots of grass in a large area. Okay, my friends? All right, guys, for our last vocab word, we're going to look at the pictures. Kind of strange. I see a hand in grass. I see a foot, maybe somebody lying on a bed. Um, let's look at our vocab word. All right, say it after me. Splay. All right, splay has one syllable, one sound of the word splay. Okay, and splay means to spread out. Okay, so splay. I can splay my fingers. I can splay my toes. Uh, Miss Harmon won't really show you her toes. Um, but splay just means to spread out. Okay, guys, let's write our sentence. All right, our sentence is going to read, Miss Harmon can splay her fingers. So I want you guys to practice splaying your fingers. Just spread them out, okay? So it just means to spread out either your fingers, your toes, um, whatever it may be. All right, my friends, that is our vocab for today. Um, make sure you're writing all your sentences, drawing all your pictures, um, and practicing your new vocab words with you. I can't wait to learn more about weather with you. I'll see you guys tomorrow.